It's just an arcana check, isn't it? Correct. Uh, my question was, if you're casting in a scroll, but it's a concentration, you have to you concentrate the whole time. another concentration. Yeah, that's what I thought. You, you can only have one concentration effect going, period, whether it came from a scroll or not. Well, ah, uh, fancy. Okay, so, uh, I guess we're ready. Sure we Start hey. us off. Hey, everybody, welcome back to session something or other of... Um, 27. Uh, uh, welcome back to session 27 and what is now going to be Tyranny of Dragons? No, Rise of the... Qu I don't know. What's Tyranny of Dragons is the whole saga. That works. <laughs> yeah. Uh, welcome to session 27 of Tyranny of Dragons where Coven's cult killers, which includes Coven, Balkel, Lucas, Jägermeister, and Brim, uh, prepare to face off against Orathor, the White Dragon, in an effort to save Macath the Red uh, from its tyranny and hopefully free Horde... Free her to get some information about the Drakhorn that recently went off and uh, perhaps in their efforts uh, make huge strides into slowing down TMS crawl into the world. That's awesome. It's going to be awkward when you climb down that hole and he's not there. It's gonna. Well, he's going to be there. If ever they... That, <laughs> well, there might be two dragons there. And, and a skeletal mage or something on the back of one. Uh, Brian was all over that, Jaeger. Did I miss it? I'm sorry. Oh, one second. I did not say her name, so. Avarice or some shit like Ar that. There you go. A R V E I A T U R A C E? Yeah. I almost nailed it. I got it. Arvaters. Let's right. just call her stupid whore dragon. What are we doing? Uh, I think it's time to proceed down yes. the cave. <laughs> Indeed. Boop. Oh, I should probably open my character sheet. Boop. And maybe a combat tracker. Boop. Or there it is. No. Oh. Tokens are unlocked. I'm going to put you guys up on the scriptorum where you guys were. And you got this big fucking hole that's uh, about 15 by 15. It's a big shoot. Um, it's, uh, ice with nothing to hang on to. And, uh, the drop is pretty far. So Goes question. Down at least 50 feet into just steam and fog. Can we, so we can't see the bottom? Nope. You just see fog below you. I think I had, I had the idea to try sled down, but we can't see the bottom. It's too risky. Oh, it's straight like down. It's not like sled. It's slide. It is yeah, a it was, vertical shoot. But if it kind of like angled down after a while, we could just hit it and like slide down like a like a crazy nope. slide or whatever. No angle. Uh, I'm gonna tie a no, rope around straight, my waist. Straight column down. You your slide would be similar to Drenlo's slide down the slippery tunnels. I got you. <laughs> Good to know. So um, I guess are we we're, still, we're gonna tie ourselves together, climb down? Does that sound fair? Uh, well, no. I, what I was gonna do is take my 50 foot rope. Is there anything to latch onto up here at all? <clears throat> Like, is there any crevice on the side, or should I drive a piton to the wall? Or the I was going to say, I'm pretty sure if you had a supply of pitons, you could I make bet something to tie off to. They're actually being used right now, though. Well, not no. all. No, we got the scrunchies. This may be the first time in 30 years anyone's ever taken a piton out of their backpack and used it. I'm yeah. taking. Uh, Coven will take out a piton and hammer it swiftly but quietly into the ice. Yeah, and I'm going to help uh, offset his weight or whatever. Hey Jason, real quick question. Sure. Um, uh, how far down before the fog starts? Uh, well, the fog starts like right away, really, but it's it's getting so dense you can't see through it after about fifty feet. It's okay. just like it's just foggy, but your visibility is fifty feet. Just the oh. condensation and vapor. Yeah. But we can see fifty feet. Correct. Yeah, you can just see down fifty feet. I'm gonna okay. dig in and support the weight of the rope. Like with my feet, my you know, sit back support so the light climbs down. Okay. I'm good no, at climbing. Yeah, I'm good at climbing too. Okay, the brim, you have to be the last one down. That's why I'm, I'm supporting the rope. Yeah. I do believe I have one 100 foot rope, but I it may they may well, all be. 50s. I have 50 foot. I have 50 foot rope too. I can always tie them and daisy chain them or whatever. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and as a precaution tie two 50 foot links together. Yes. And climb down. I will. Wait a, uh, second. Wait a second. 
Isn't what's her nuts just like thirty feet away? Macatha Red, probably. Yeah. Can mm -hmm. I just go ask her how far down it is? Probably. She told you before it's 60, 70 feet to the bottom, but she's only been down into the lair like twice in three years. Anyone have slow fall? What are you doing? I'm playing my game. Was, was there a scroll of slow fall, Brian? These are all daddy's friends. Okay. No, I have fly. Okay. I'd rather not cast fly. I understand. No problem. So let's climb down then. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, well, the, with the now 100-foot rope, I'm going to start climbing down. Okay, so what's the... Are you going down... You get, help me better understand this. Are you going down one at a time? Are you going down as a group? I'm staying up top and bracing the rope. Okay. So as Coven's going down, what's everyone else doing? Like, I'm saying, is Coven going to be first boots on the ground until the next person descends, possibly the entire 100-foot 100, 100 rope? Um, I think that that is best. Okay. Uh, McCath has no advice for you. She thinks you should leave. <laughs> she's been pretty adamant about it. She'd rather just stay here. But if you insist on fighting the dragon, she's giving you all the help she can. Nice. All right, all right. Coven. Yep. You need to make a very important athletics check right now. All right, here comes a very important athletics. So hang on, like, can I aid him because I'm like supporting the rope and stuff? Uh, you can have a plus two bonus. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on one second. You can't have full advantage. Guidance? You can't yeah. have guidance, though. That's In fact, at that point, you can't have the plus two also. Okay. okay. Like, you're being guidance. guided by divine will at this point. <laughs> Brim is very supportive, but you're not getting any more out. I got it. Okay. Coven starts to rappel down. You have athletics trained, right? Correct. Yeah, he like wraps it around and he like kicks out. <laughs> he slides all the way down into the fog. You hear him lightly tap up against the ice as he touches. <laughs> and he goes down some more. Coven. Yes. Where the frick is your token? Um, oh, it's in the hole now. Upper upper left. There he goes. Try, I got him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 what the hell do, do. Move to? Is off the map? Oh, new map. Do, do, do. All right, we are going to change the focus here to what Coven sees now. The rest of you don't see this. Just going to have to be, you know, role players and pretend you don't know. Okay. So remember, I said you're going to have to make a really important athletics check. Yes. That was an important athletics check. That was now you have to make an even more important check. All right. You have to make an important stealth check. All right. Athletics or stealth? Which one am I doing? It has to be stealth now. All right. I'll be stealth then. You can have advantage on the check, oh, though. Oh, shit. You I double clicked. It. My bad. I'm so sorry. I double clicked. <laughs> I'm assuming you wanted it in the tower anyway. I so. did. I really did. Especially now. <laughs> I mean, it's your prerogative which one you take. I'm hoping it's better than nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you roll that with advantage? Uh, I did not roll that with advantage. You had advantage because you knew what you were getting into. Okay, well, I'll just roll again. Let's oh, see. Shit. Stealth with advantage. Okay. You touch down softly. Yes. And uh, die. <laughs> Instantly <laughs> die. <laughs> you, you're frozen in place. <laughs> You'll look good on that ship. Okay. Through the fog, the haze is a little lighter here. Hey, a question. Why didn't we just send Pixie down? Very large chamber here. Uh, just to give you an idea, it's <laughs> about 200 feet to the opposite wall, 230. Damn. Um, there's a very sharp drop. From where you're at down to the floor, which would be here, it's uh, about, uh, about 35 feet to the floor. Um. You touch down at the top of, uh, of a tall slope. Um, can, I, can I suggest the, uh, to Lucas have the pixie go down to, to communicate to COVID? Because they communicate telepathically, right, Lucas? Yeah, they do. Well, that, 
That way they can relay information back to us without yelling up the shaft. That's Brim's moment of inspiration. And so, this chamber is at least dimly lit enough that you can see it all. There's actually, um, through the, there, there's some fires and there's some light in here, like some torches and lamps. And you can see a big ass white dragon just lounging on a pile of treasure. That's a really big dragon. Yeah, it's big. The, uh, <laughs> the exact dimensions here. If only there was another hole we could feet go by down. 15 feet. So the ceiling is about 60 feet above the dragon where it's at now. It's about 20 feet above you. Um, okay, so the pixie buzzes down, whispers to Coven very rapidly. Hey, what do you see? Oh my god, is that a dragon? Holy crap, it's a dragon over there! We're not really going to fight the dragon, are we? Yes. <laughs> Let them know it's safe to come down quietly. Okay, uh, Lucas. Down, is it? Lucas, you hear a mental message. Hey, the big scaly guy says it's safe to come down, but he's lying. There's a dragon down here. <laughs> <laughs> I say we get up top, get in the boats, get out. <laughs> I like the pixie. <laughs> You're muted. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, it's awkward. What? John John's oh. talking, but he's no, muted. No, no. Let's pretend we hear him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> he was in the middle of a very good plan, I can tell. <laughs> He was just going. He's like, ah, and everyone's like, I'm going to translate that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, translate your middle finger? <laughs> I thought you were going to translate. He's going to translate that? They know the word that. That there's a dragon? I'm going to say the dragon's down there. Uh, did he tell me it's a wig just hanging out? Uh, he said it is not noticed. He didn't actually indicate if it's awake or not. He can't I'll tell. You it's, that it's, it's it's lying on a big pile of treasure. He can't really tell. Okay. Um, so I'm going to translate that. I'll give him approximate distance from the hole. I'll ask uh, ask uh, Falamir, uh, you know, about how far. Um, um, and then I'll say we need to start going down. We could go down the other hole. But we had to get Coven back up, which we could do. I mean, oh, hey, Coven will suddenly remember that he can effing fly. Oh, yeah. 150, 160 feet. <laughs> Wait, do you want to use that now, though? I, I, I lasted for an hour. Recharged. I take it back, yeah. Your wings of flying have recharged. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, I will uh, say the keyword because I'm retarded. <laughs> and then I will fly back up and be like, hey, guys. It's down there. Let's do it. <laughs> um, we can go down the, we can go down the other hole so we can get down there safely. What? I really missed that. What happened? There's another hole, he's saying. Oh, should we go down the other hole? I mean, which direction is it? That way we can all get down there without stealthing as each person gets down there. Mm -hmm. And then we can try to get a, you know, maybe spread out. In like a concave pattern, so we can attack the dragon. Brian's probably right. I don't, I don't disagree with Brian's plan. All right, sounds good. I mean, let's get there quickly because I can only fly for an hour ish. Yeah, okay. Okay. Is back. the other hole? Have we cleared the area around the other hole? No. Yeah. You have no idea where it comes down. Well, okay, we don't know where it comes down at the base. We have a rough sketch of top where top. it is. Yeah. Oh, it would come down to the east of where Coven came down. Yeah. But you don't know what's over there. That's a good point. Could be another dragon or like two <laughs> dragons. Yeah, but the other dragon's fucking baddie. Do you want to just straight up... I mean, we could just try to come down here. I don't care. I mean, Co Coven is all about just going down this hole and killing this dragon. Does that look like a face to you guys with Coven as the eye? Yeah, I see that too. Okay. Jason, how hard would it be just to wrap uh, wrap up the, the ones of us who don't climb very well and lower them down? Or could we carry them on our backs? That would be me. I'm a bad one. 
Um, you guys can string a rope through their, uh, you know, put a rope harness around them and lower them down. Or Coven and I could ferry them down one by one. Um, the wings, your your wings of flying don't really, they really can't support two bodies. They can well, support two, you, support you three. Do what? Two got, wouldn't support three. What about uh, having that Coven tighten the rope at the bottom and you just kind of slide down the rope? I mean, that's still it's still going to require a climb check. Okay. I mean, there's no way to do well, it. Without. I'm, I'm actually pretty okay, I and mean, I like the idea. If Coven was at the bottom, keeping the rope taut, and all they had to do was just put a piece of like put on gloves and just slide down the rope, I would definitely it would make the difficulty of the climb a lot easier. That's what I need. Let's okay. do it. All right, I like this plan. All right, I want a athletics check from Coven. I want an intelligence check, but you can add your athletics to it from Nick, from Brim. Intelligence. Oh, God. <laughs> We're fucked. No, you can um, add your athletics. Add your athletics to the end. You're oh, okay. in athletics, though, right? Yeah, I'm, I have plus seven to athletics. So you're going to add... Plus think, seven to an int check. Hey, can I give him uh, guidance? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just going to be efficient, so, so like three. Oh, okay, um, so three. Dajun, yeah, you can throw guidance on him. Okay, what? am I doing it? Because it's not looking like it used to. Am I screwing it up? Just drop it on Brim. I grabbed the shield, right? All this intelligence oh, is hurting me. Grab the effect. I wonder. <coughs> and I roll this in the, in the dice box, right? Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is in the tower. Let, let John John hit you first. Yeah. And just straight in there check. Goes. Three. You got it. Straight in, right? Should be an intelligence check with your proficiency bonus, which I think it's is plus three. three. Sure. And as far as you're aware, you're doing it correctly. Yes. Oh, just all the time. Actually, guys, he takes and he pulls out the rope and he starts pulling stuff around. He starts talking about this hitch half hyzer knot that he learned uh, when he used to work as a shipwright. And he rigs it up on the pitons. And uh, yeah. Yeah. he's like, all right, come on. <laughs> he's he's already got a thing set it. up. On. He's already like, who's going next? That's bullshitter. He's yeah. waving him over. He might yeah. be full of shit. His hands do smell like paste, pasted urine. So, <laughs> Well, we know why. That's just because yeah. one of his healing kits came open, and now everything in his bag smells like urine. So. <laughs> All right, who's next? Can you get me okay? Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah. I need to go next to last. Okay, can you guys hear me okay? I've actually yeah, changed you're fine. my mind. Yeah, you're, you're fine. doing good. All right, All right. Yeah. Uh, Jaeger, you come next. Um, I'll actually speak the word and fly down and join him. That okay, makes sense. Jaeger silently drifts down the whole Lake Superman. JJ, like, why do you need to be next to last? Because I'm going to give everyone a blushing on their way down. There All right, go. I'll go next then. All right, Bulkhead. Well, Wait, hold on. Yep. Guidance. You guys have a zip line. This is great. <laughs> is this advantage or anything? No, you have divine guidance, and it's a low difficulty, so... Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Hey, I'm, I'm asking what I got. Yeah. Okay, uh, Balkel makes it down, no problem. The other thing is you don't need stealth checks in this case because your path is all set up. All you got to do is just slide down the rope. Next. I guess I should start moving tokens. So I guess it's guys. me or Lucas. Am I going or Lucas? Lucas going? is next and you're last. Okay. Okay, I'm going to ask my, my uh, deity for a blessing and I'm going down. See, there's something oh, I forgot. I can't bless myself. I read that. I can't bless myself. Okay. You can. I was oh, saying. No, I, I thought the spell read that I couldn't. What's it say? Drag the shield into the chat. So there's something I forgot to tell you guys. I cannot go down a, down a long, deep tunnel. I had a bad experience once. <laughs> <laughs> Get your ass down here. And for the people uh, watching is... The shield. Grab the shield and drop it in chat so that we can look at it. Yeah. I, I keep doing that, but nothing happens. Doesn't look like it. Looks like you're dropping the effect in chat. No, I can't drop the effect in chat. That doesn't... Nothing happens then either. Can you double click on a star? Guidance. Oh, there, I just oh. dropped it. Oh, no. We just you lost three people. Before, you can touch yourself, correct? 
When we lost three people. Who do we lose? Thank you. Are you a willing person? Yeah. Okay, then you can touch yourself. Okay. He says you can touch yourself. <laughs> hi, Holly. <laughs> Everyone said so, hi. You touch yourself. Hi. Very inappropriately. Hi, Holly. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm making an, uh, an uh, athletics check. Cookies yep. taste good. They know. Oh my god. And Josh, I lost your video. video. Okay. What? I've lost Josh's video. Yeah, I me think too. everyone. Has. Oh yeah, me too. I have Josh. I, I I've lost several people's oh, videos. Yeah, so back now. Oh, there be, you are. You're back. My we probably is connection. That's fine for now. So he made it, right? My turn? Yeah. Just waiting for Brim. And my, it's a straight, straight athletics, right? Yeah, this is athletics. Okay. Don't roll a one. You definitely have no help. <laughs> okay. And Brim slides down like a fucking SWAT commando. He does, he does it in one jump all the way to the bottom. He's just like, <laughs> and just like stops like a foot from the floor and touches down. <laughs> that actually makes sense. It Wasn't he a shipment for a while? I did, I did uh, a little bit, a little bit of that. He, Brim's done a lot of jobs. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, and he was at one point just a mercenary captain willing to do anything. <laughs> wow, really? That's that's rough. What? <laughs> I didn't catch so it. He, like, he just like pulls the rope. Well, actually, don't worry. I'll take the playback of this, and I'll just get that gif of John John doing that completely out of context. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so Brim pulls the rope aside. Gets down on the edge and looks out over. You guys can all see this this big fucking dragon. The darker areas there are. I'm gonna move the map a little bit here. So the darker areas are. Uh, it looks like slush. Um, where like the seawater because of the salt content won't freeze. Mm. Can I have water breathing. <laughs> we have water. The dark areas. <laughs> Yeah, like the yeah, super dark the far, area. The far west area, the, the little pools of water. The far west one is actually, uh, uh, you see light filtering through it, just faintly. Uh, so it must lead to outside. Nick, even if yeah. you had water breathing, that's ice cold oh, water. Oh, I know. I'm you making jokes. You would die in like By the way, you know, 30 you seconds. You would say it's probably about 10 below here. It's, okay. it's even colder than the rest of the iceberg. So how high up is the ledge across the hall? Is that the same le height as ledges we're on? This one here, yes, is the same height. Every color difference is about 10 feet. So that's a 10-foot okay. drop, another 10-foot drop, another 10-foot, okay. et cetera. So should we all try to move up stealthily? Group check? Um, Maybe. <laughs> I mean, so we try and slide down the back side of it and move our way around. That sounds like a great plan. Giggity. Why? Okay. Jaeger's 110 feet away. That's like perfect for him. <laughs> yeah, I can start the fight right. if you like. So, do we still need stealth checks though, or no? I well, just yeah. needed to, why don't you guys tell me what your plan is, and then we'll decide what kind of checks are going to be necessary. Do we Slide, have a plan? Sliding down the back, I guess. Well, yeah, uh, let's decide a plan. Do we want to try to get to it while it's sleeping and attack it? Or yes. do we want to wake it and draw it into a trap? Mm. What trap can we do better than a full round of surprise? Yeah, I agree. Sleeping. I'd, rather get, <laughs> I'd rather get a full round of ass kicking it if possible. All right, then fuck it. Let's go. Well, let's I can hit it from here. Have, I want to make sure you know it's... Um, it's it'll take you three rounds to cover the distance. Okay, three Actually, rounds. Not even stealth speed. It's stealth speed. It'll take longer than that. Okay, six stealth rounds. Speed, stealth speed. We're only going to be moving thirty feet around, and it's one hundred and sixty feet. So you're talking like six rounds of stealth checks. Let's okay. do it. Jesus, six rounds of group stealth checks with the understanding that we need to split if it wakes. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to get close to it. Oh, hey, that's another way to look at it. I've got to get next to it to be effective. Me too. And you I can can't also fly. fly. I yeah. think I should have gotten the fly cloak. You can cover 120 feet in one round. That's no. true. And you're quiet anyways. All you do is just get up there, and I can just run up while you engage it. Okay. Yeah, you'll be one-on-one. -on -one. It'll be good. Okay. Oh, I think I can range. Rage fly in. Okay. Well, just, I think... 
Yeah, there's only two of you that have to get close, right? The rest yeah. are all ranged. Yeah. All right, so the part, the part the range, though, less likely you are to die to an ice <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Who has? Okay, so Nick is the only one that needs to get close. Well, uh, COVID does too, technically, but yeah, the COVID can fly yeah. up, right? Much. Correct. You're the only one without the means. <laughs> I could just I try could, to. Speak. I could away. give Nick fly. It'd be a third level spell, and it's concentration, so you wouldn't have fly for very long. I'll just need long enough to get over there. But I could give Dude. you fly, and you both can just. Dude, sleep. that's fantastic. Let's do that. I got that. an idea. Guess what I could do? What? That's pretty nice. Drop down top of it. It's a flying speed of. <laughs> I feel like I need to throw a reminder out here. I'm pretty sure every one of you has inspiration right now. Hell yeah. Yeah. Do not forget that. Just throw yeah. it out. I do? Sweet. I'm pretty sure all of you have adva- have inspiration at this point. Okay. Because I've been handing out inspiration. Yeah, for like I have one. I have And nobody's uh, using it. Well, we wrecked the kobolds in the sea control. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't suggesting you need it on the kobolds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's, let's do that. Let's okay. fly. <clears throat> New plan. Let's give Brim flying. He oh, and I will plan. fly up. Everybody else creep within range, and then we attack. Done creeping. Tell you what. I have Wait unlocked. It. Tokens are currently <laughs> unlocked. Okay. Put your token where you would like to end up before the fighting starts. This is not you moving. This is just where you want to be before the hey, fighting yeah, starts. Yeah. Well, shouldn't someone kind of go like south so we're a little spread out, or like? Yeah. I would kind of. Brim's well, steel time here. <laughs> I'm saying if I can fly, I'm gonna wrap my legs around its wing and and hack at it while I try to hold on. I would honestly kind of like to hide here so I can just. Dunk How about it. I just put you guys? You want to get next to it, and you I'll guys. Be on, no, I'll be on like it. I'll be on it. My legs wrapped around its well, like, wing. Well, let me see how far my fireball can go. Hey, uh, Josh, can you go oh. south about another uh, ten blocks? Hey, Jaeger, I learned a cool tip. Let's say you're. Uh, let's say you're flying twenty feet in the air. Right. With one of your, use the arrow pointer. It's just double. It's just both mouse, both mice buttons, and just draw next to your guy how high up you are. That's a really good idea. Yeah, I saw someone else doing it. So that way I know. Okay, you're twenty up. So you two, if you're flying, put how high up you want to be, and that way each time you move, you just adjust that, and I've yeah. got a quick indication well, of how. I want to be are. right above it because I want to land on it when I attack it. All right, so 15 yeah, but feet Nick, up. one thing to keep in mind, uh-huh. as soon as the action starts, you're on the ground. No more flight. That's fine. I'm going to hold on to it so it flies. I'm on it. Well, I'm at it. Is that the case? <clears throat> it's concentration. It's concentration. Yeah. As soon as Brian saying, stops concentrating, it's over. No, as soon yeah. as, as, as Bal- Balco stops concentrating. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I'll be right above it. Yeah. Okay, so that's your plan. All right, I will need a stealth check from Balkel first. Okay. And Lucas. Actually, I'm going to need stealth checks from everyone. Even the flyers? Of course. Yep. Is so it like a group, a group stealth, stealth then? No. Probably not. I already gave guidance to Brian, by the way. Okay. Uh, where's my um, stealth? Okay. Stealth. Where's stealth? There it is. I've got Coven's. Hang on. Stealth, there we are. I've got Jaegers. I've got Lucas. Do I've I have advantage because I'm flying, so I'm extra quiet? No. <laughs> also, I'm going to ask, uh, follow me. Yeah, so those of you flying have easy skill checks. So. Okay, that works. Uh, it, or Actually, I've penalized the dragon's passive perception. Okay. So, which is already penalized because it's asleep. So. Perfect. Oh, it is asleep. Good, good, good. good. It's still yeah, a well, dragon. As you get up to where you are, you realize that yes, this dragon is asleep. So I got my swords out. I'm gonna drop on it. It's gonna be awesome or really bad. Okay, <laughs> so are you two on the ground then? No, uh, I'm right above it. I'm gonna land on it when I yeah, attack do it. Your height, do your height marker for me, since we're about to roll initiative. Like five feet above it. Okay, I'm gonna grapple a wing. God, then, he's uh, gonna try to grapple. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap my legs around. I'm not gonna, gra- I'm gonna gra- grab, grab, grab. My- hang on. Click both mouse buttons and thank you. I to drop five foot arrow. There. there, that way I know how high yeah, up. That's you fine. Are. No, my plan right. is to wrap, wrap my legs around it, so I'm just holding off my legs while I'm hitting it with my swords. <clears throat> hey, like at the base of the wing. Like, Same oh, for hey. you. 
Um, yeah, I, I honestly, probably five foot up is probably the best. Like, I don't okay. want to do anything bad shit. There you go. Okay, roll for initiative, everybody. Hey, okay, can I rage before we initiatize? Uh, no. Okay, then I'm going to initiatize. Initiative, initiative. That's int, not initiative. Hang on, if I'm in. Where the. I mean, you can, but that means you would spend the turn not attacking. I found oh, it. That's terrible. That's terrible, too, yes. Well. At least I'm higher than Belkaw, so don't worry about that part. The dragon's going first, so I guess it's a good thing you got a surprise yeah. round. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. Yay! <laughs> no, he, he's not going to no. survive a second round. Oh, there's so many abilities. Oh, I not can't to mention, fit them all. I'm I can't sure. fit them all on one screen. I'm sure that we're also in a legendary encounter, so... And we're uh, in its layer. It's always, it's always legendary when you fight a dragon. Damn right. Um, this, however, is not his primary layer. So, oh, okay. For us, he's not have layer actions. Alrighty. So, well, yeah. If if we get a surprise round, I will rage and cut him with a reckless. And, uh, should I go reckless? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm balls the wall, man. Let's do this. Are you yeah. kidding? You're gonna do everything. Yeah, it's fucking. Really? Yeah, I'm, I, I, everything I got. This guy's going okay. down today. Go ahead so, and start adding effects. Quick <laughs> rage. <laughs> boom. And uh, reckless. reckless. And do I need to click frenzy as well? Yeah, that way it's on you. It's a reminder that next turn is when it kicks in. Um, I don't have frenzy as a, an effect. Oh, okay. I'll add it. Okay, sorry about that. I, I never added it. I never <coughs> thought about it. Hey, Nick, Very that's your fly good. in the chat oh. box. All right, thank you. <coughs> frenzy. Okay. All right, is it time? That is a lot of effects. All right, let yeah, her rip, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, it's time to cut the sun bitch open. Why are you charmed and frightened? <laughs> oh, wait, do I get advantage? No, he's immune to charm and Oh, I'm immune to charm and Okay. Do, do I get advantage because he's surprised? Yes. You already uh, have advantage because of reckless attack. Oh, so much advantage. <laughs> okay. 24. You oh, forgot I to target. I forgot to target. <laughs> Does it hit? Does 24 hit? Drag it onto him and drop it. You'll see. Oh, yeah. Dragging. Dropping. Yeah! <laughs> wakey, wakey, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you target him. Oh, I did. I did. Second okay. attack. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you serious? Wow. Do a third attack. Just with advantage. And no, no fr frenzy kicks in on the next round. So that's when I get my third attack, correct, Jason? Yeah. Oh, okay. attack. You got inspiration, though, right? I do have inspiration. You have to use it. You have to burn it before the attack. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have advantage, so there's no point in doing it right now. Yeah, there was, it wouldn't help from there. Oh, okay. Lucas. Now, I cast Put Hex through. on myself and then dr slide something over onto the dragon, correct? What? No. He Let wants to cast effect. Hex. Let me look at your effect. If I set it up right, I think I did. It is. I just put it on him. Oh no, I put it on myself. You hexed yourself. God damn it. <laughs> okay, where are you at? Okay. You hex yourself before you wreck yourself. Now drag, okay, drag the effect and drop it on him while holding shift. While holding shift? Yep. Make shift those work. effect onto him. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, I get to also give him a negative uh, or a disadvantage on a uh, on a ability check. Um, and it. I wanted to ask you, Jason, on from a game perspective. Um, oh wait. no, it is. I'm sorry. One d six necrotic targeting or author. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. So, um, which uh, which stats would he would uh, disadvantage best uh, suit his desire to flee? Would that be wisdom? Dude, dragon ain't gonna run. This is his lair. I want it on wisdom. This is not his lair. Not his home lair now. Coven thinks it's his lair. <laughs> <laughs> He's not getting away. He ain't gonna run. We're not gonna let him get away. Coven's diving in the water and swimming after his I will go after runs. I am not losing another dragon. I know. Like it's negative 10 <laughs> degrees and the water's man? colder. So what's happening? <laughs> Sorry, I he hex. Jason, if you're talking. What was the effect again? Never mind. I dropped it. 
Place a curse on the creature. Anyone to lose one ability. Disadvantage on ability checks with that ability. Okay. So wisdom is the one you're picking? Yes, and I'm casting this as a second level spell. Wisdom. Okay. What's second level spell mean? Uh, well, I have one. My rod only gives me a second level spell. It doesn't give me another spell, just one second level spell. Oh, right. What does casting it as a second level spell do? I don't know Nothing. what is a higher level does. Nothing. It's still only good for an hour. Oh, I see. Once you get higher, then you can maintain it for eight hours. I see. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, stop. It's, uh, bam, you have cast Hex. Is that uh, a bonus action? That was a bonus. Yep, sure yes. is. Okay. And now I'm going to attack, and I do get advantage, right? Because it's surprise. Uh, yeah. Hit. You, you forgot, forgot to target him, too. I'm pretty sure that hits. Oh, yeah, I didn't target him? Sorry. There it is. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I already did. rolled one, and it was an 11, so let me just roll it one more time. Although... Stop. Stop. Oh, I just did damage. There. Roll one more D6. Yeah. Because you didn't have you didn't have him targeted, so it didn't do your hex damage the first yeah, time. Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. Hex damage, it did 6 plus, plus 3 plus 5, 14 damage. What? He meant the first time. Oh, that was your second hit, right? No. Or that was the first hit. I missed on the second hit. Uh, did oh, okay. you do advantage on the second hit? Oh, wait, no. I didn't even swing on the second hit. Sorry, I got one more swing. I am really lost here. Okay, never mind. I caught up. Okay. Oh. Boom. Boom. Damage. Boom. <laughs> Ten more. Okay. So I have a question. Inspiration. How do I use it exactly? You just uncheck it off and you have advantage. But you oh, already have advantage. just advantage then, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can also give it to other people. And it can I got a cancel disadvantage. Okay, I'll save it for now, then to the next round. Yeah. So I'm gonna land on him or whatever, do my three attacks. <laughs> okay. You should probably do two attacks and help hold on. No, I got I got action surge. I got action surge, I'm gonna do three attacks. Okay. Um, so I got to act three. Three. You yeah, get more than three with an action surge, don't you? Well, no, I'm not trying to hold on to him with uh, during the action surge. Oh, okay. okay. I got yeah, yeah. Just so first you're just, doing... hold, just yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be wonderful or horrible. We'll, we'll figure out which soon. Okay, hit with the long sword. Advantage for eleven. Critted. So I just roll damage again. Oh! Just roll damage. I'll do it to do anything special to make a crit. Yeah, just roll damage. For 16. I'm going to roll a second one because that should have been whatever. <laughs> okay. So. So, action surge. Um, basically, I'm going to wrap, my, wrap myself around the base of his wing where it joins his back. Um, okay. With, do, what do you are mean? you dropping your weapons? Um, well, I was thinking about maybe one weapon, like holding one weapon, like kind of like you know how you grab it around a tree trunk, both legs, both arms, are holding on to at least one of my weapons. All right, all right, I, I get what you're going for, and you want to yeah. try and restrain one of his wings, or hold on at the very least. So if okay. he flies, I'm still with him. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need an athletics check. Okay. Can I have advantage? Can I have advantage since he's surprised? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I did actually, honestly, guys, I did not think I'd be doing this tonight. I gotta say, I was just joking. <laughs> Which wall does he get flung into? Oh. I'm betting north. <laughs> hey. Well, at the very least, I'd like to well just hold on so I don't get you know yeah. knocked. Yeah. North okay. wall. But he's a really big dragon. So I don't know oh. about this. <laughs> uh. Is the dragons like starting to look uh, and like look around and Trevor, what the hell's going on? You take your sword and jam it through the membrane of his wing and you hook it like on the elbow of your armor and crank back as hard as you can to try and keep him from opening his wing up. <laughs> All right. Okay. And that's my turn, I think. Yeah. 
My turn. Because like, action surge wouldn't give me like. Yeah, that's just never mind. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. You technically have two actions, but you use them all. Yeah, I got like, you. You have two attacks, but you're you can no longer swing. You are hanging on to dragon's wing for dear life. So I got you. You will have to let go. Get him, Jaeger. I can, yeah. Are you? All right, so that's the hunter's mark. Yeah. Okay. Now I have a question here. Are you? Wait a minute. Yeah, your damage thing didn't go on right. Hold shift when you. Or let me make sure your hunter's mark's belt right. But I think you want to hold shift when you drop it on him. Um, here. So. <laughs> There. Now hold shift and drop it on Arathor. I was supposed to give you the bonus. With there it is. Targeting Arathor, 1d6 damage. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to take aim at him with the uh, arrow of dragon slaying. Okay. Get him. Um, I don't have that built. I'm assuming I'll just roll dice on it. Just roll normal. Yeah. I really no, didn't. Here's the question. Do you want to auto hit on that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, so. <laughs> Nor and it's your Nor Arthur man. makes a Constitution save, failing it. Oh. But he passes it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he uses so. his legendary resistance to make a save. Okay. So you did can well. Can, can, can you do that? That's a pro can you do that as a prize round? Yes. Okay, just checking. Oh, yeah. It saves instant. Okay, okay. so go ahead and roll 60-10. Jesus. Get him. Get him. How do I... I think you right click... How do I grab six of them? Right click, right -click the click D10. Right, right click the D10 yeah. and choose six. Or, well, never mind. Pick up the D10 and keep hitting right click until you have six of them on the die. Yeah, that's probably easier. <laughs> Click, 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 click. That's D6s. Good try, though. Well, if he, if he does four more, it averages the same, doesn't it? No. No. No? No, no. We're doing 60 10, baby. Okay. <laughs> there it is. That's, That's the eight. Eight. Oh, eight. We're getting there. Almost. No, watch him do less damage. He better do more damage. All right. Hold on. We're going to send you the dice recognition chart. <laughs> <laughs> It goes four, and seven, then I drag it on him. Twenty. No, yep. you've only rolled d eights. You haven't rolled d tens. You still haven't rolled a d ten. The one next to the d twenty is the d ten. No, 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 that's the d twelve. This is I, a d ten. I'm the new guy. Sorry. It's okay. There we there. go. Oh, oh, holy holy damage! Holy shit! <laughs> I then have it to twenty. That's Whatever. fine. That's fine. Okay. Heavy. Oh, he's taking some serious wounds. And I'm gonna take a regular shot. <laughs> yeah, now it's your regular shot. Hey, wait, what's your plus with your power shot? Oh, you're not plus using the second arrow? Yeah, uh, it's 10. Arrow. No, doing the power shot, you get like minus 5, right? Or it, yeah, it's, it's minus 5. But plus I have damage. a 14 and a 15 saved up if you want to use a power shot. 14 will hit. A 15 may not. We've only seen a 19 hit. No, I mean, it will count as a D20 rolled as a 15 plus his bonus. Which means he would get a 20. And hit. Hey, yeah. just... Yeah. Hey, Brian, save that for an hour arrow of dragon sling. Can you nice. use another one now or no? I'm saying for... I have two of these, Josh. No, yeah, what I was saying is save it for when I'm going to use an arrow of dragon sling. Can't you use another arrow now or no? Not, not yet. I see what uh, Josh is getting at. Yeah, I'm going to save it for later. Okay. So. Oh! Should have used it. Should have oh, used it. <laughs> <laughs> the look on Josh's face is precious. <laughs> oh, tomorrow. All right. 29 damage to Arthur. Bunch of uh, some Gatorade. <laughs> okay. What? What? Who? What? Oh, Balco. Yeah. Fry this fucker, Brian. Yeah. 
so much fire. Right. Don't even worry about me being there. Just well, I can't it. fireball. Yeah, you that can't do it. Sucks. Don't be a pussy. Uh, do it. Just I'm do cool it. with fireball because I resist fire. And I'm not a pussy. So oh, I will fuck it. You guys don't understand. You don't resist my fireballs. I don't care. I'm not a pussy. Do it. No, don't, oh, yeah, kill, right. don't kill Brent. Super fire. I oh. wreck with my fireballs. Don't be oh. a pussy. Wait, wait, why would you use a fireball? I I wanted to, but I can't. Use your so hardest I'm going to use my level two spell. Pussy. Scorching Pussy. Ray. Pussy. Are you casting it as a as level two, or are you going to cast it as a level four? No, I cast it as level two. Nice. Get okay. him. So this will be three shots on the dragon. Do you believe advantage. he's not going to cast Disintegrate? What the fuck? If he saves Disintegrate, it oh. does zero damage. Oh, yeah. Never mind. And you will save. I was disappointed. It's true. That's true. <laughs> pop, pop. First ray hit. Second ray hit. Yeah. Yeah! Wow. So that was one. Critical. Oh, shit. There's the second one. Yes. And there's the third one. Nice shoot, Holy Tex. Holy shit. I love, I, we need to make a stealth-based party next. <laughs> <laughs> this dragon's in deep shit. This dragon's gonna fucking die. How hurt okay. is it? Oh, critical? Yeah. Well, yeah. Ready? Yeah. We unloaded yeah. on him. Now I kind of wish I attacked instead of grabbing onto his wing. <laughs> okay. So, Arathador's turn. Um, Alpha strike. <laughs> first, Arathador roars, like shaking the whole freaking iceberg. Everybody, give me a uh, wisdom save. Hey, what's the range on that? The whole cavern. The cavern. <laughs> wisdom, wisdom. Straight wisdom. Hey, Jason, would I have advantage on that? Uh, yes. Yeah. Favorite enemy. Do yeah, I have me. advantage on it? You Actually, it. John, John. Okay, Lucas and Belkel, Balkel do not need to save. They are yes. too far away to be affected by dragon fright. Yeah. Now, can I can I get advantage for being a badass? That's all I'm saying. Or can I use my inspiration now? So yeah. I had Coven, Brim, and Jaeger all roll. No, I had Coven and Brim both roll checks instead of staying. Oh, what's the difference? Oh, I see over there. So can I add my inspiration to my save or no? Yeah, check off your inspiration. You have advantage on your save. Okay. Hang on. Uh, wisdom. Coven, you're raging. You're immune to fear. Damn right I'm immune to fear. <laughs> you failed your save. Uh huh. Come on. Come on. Brim made it safe too. Yes! Which is a good yes! thing because he's hanging on to the dragon's fucking back. <laughs> okay. Um oh, that was good use of inspiration. Yeah. So first Arathator does a wing attack. Does he? Trying to do Fling you the fuck off. <laughs> and beats its wings. Each creature within 10 feet must succeed on a dexterity 19 saving throw. Okay. Coven. Yes. You That's need to pass a dexterity 19 saving throw. Rolling. Nick. Yes. He can't actually flex his other wing. Nice. <laughs> You've got the, basically the, he, he can't break your sword with his wing. So it's okay. locked in place. Um, yeah, Coven, you seriously fail your deck save. <laughs> By the way, you can make some rollers in the open. Do what? You can roll your saving throws in the open. Oh, okay. um, gotcha. This is something you, you take, instantly see. This is to Coven. To, ooh, 17 damage reduced to 8. eight. Damn right. Okay. <laughs> now. Hang on, girl. The dragon makes a tail attack. No, wait, not a tail attack. What's he do? He does a bite. At not me. Or... Oh, not me. Okay. Hey, wait. Did the wing attack move me backwards at all? I mean, knock him prone or anything? Uh oh. Uh yeah, it knocked you prone. Okay. Air prone. So, 
with advantage, the dragon will bite your ass. He would have had advantage anyway. Oh, I yeah. Check. He's a reckless. Hitting. Not surprised. And let's target you here. And bites for... Ooh. 26, reduced to 16. Oh. Part of that was cold damage. Uh, yeah. Then he takes... Oh, my God. Uh, hitting both times. For five. Oh, and for six. Yes, yes, he's basically yes. like fucking wrestling with his, with his claws and mouth as he's biting at you. <laughs> and then he tries to leave. No. <laughs> with me on him. <laughs> yep. With you on him. So... Brim, you're traveling with him. Okay. But you get to make opportunity attack with your sword because it's currently jammed in his wing. Okay, so I'm like digging it uh, in or whatever. So you both get one opportunity attack as he leaves. Okay. Oh, can I uh, inspiration, Brim? Because that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. This is awesome. Actions. Please. This could go very badly for me, though. Do me a favor. I want Will to go first. Okay. Okay. All right. This might be the last time you see Bram. Let's at least make it count. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I still have advantage because of Reckless, right? Yep. Okay. Wait. Does prone do disadvantage? Yeah, you do. Okay. Yep. yep. Oh. 18. Okay. Bram? Oh, sorry. Um, uh, you get an opportunity attack. Hit. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Alpha strike. The water, and then Brim's like, "Oh shit, we're going in the drink." Pulls the sword out, scampers up, and jams it right through the base of our other uh, doors. See, my other option was I was gonna hold my breath. And try to kill him in the water and just give him the finger as I sink to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so I was kind of hoping because that'd be a really epic ending to do that. <laughs> the dragon's dead. Okay. Damn right. I want to search his body. <laughs> Ow. How much treasure is here? All right, I'll talk about real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, you hear noise coming from the east. Can we see what's on the east since JJ's there? <laughs> yeah. Here, let me widen the map a little more for you. You can see that. After that, the ridge is too tall to see over. Um, but you can hear noise coming from that direction. What's the sound like? Uh, heavy footsteps. Like a lot of footsteps. Can I make a nature check? Shh, no. I'm going to ask Volomir and Phil run up there and tell me what is over there. there we go. You don't hear shit. Lucas here. Um... Yeah, Falomir can buzz off and go check it out. I'm going to be um, like, guys, we have more company. Keep it, heads in the game. Hey, um, uh, Falomir comes zipping back pretty quickly. Go ahead, Josh. I was just saying, I'd like if uh, he doesn't have something, I'll fly over there as close to the uh, roof as possible to see what's going on. Okay. Um, well, you're there. You can make a spot check, a, a perception check. Can we assume Brim is doing a rap on Coven right now? I don't know. That's, that's between you guys. I don't make assumptions. <laughs> How hurt is Coven? Coven's fine. Yeah, Coven ain't I agree. Dead. We need. I think Coven and Brim need to go fly over to the new area and go fuck shit up. Okay. So that was epic fight. 
Hey, uh, will Brim uh, wrap up Coven's wounds? Sure. Nice. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Let's see here. Skip. And, uh, Jason, can I just look through Falamir's eyes? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe that's one of your abilities, there, friend. Um, Falamir comes buzzing back, uh, screaming, "Trolls! Trolls! Trolls! Trolls!" How many? Uh, he says, "Trolls" five times. Trolls! <laughs> trolls! 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 Hey, Brim and Coven still have fly. Just saying. Damn right. <laughs> nice. You didn't. You didn't break it or whatever your concentration. No, I didn't get hit. Oh, nice. I have fly for up to ten minutes, so however long that was. All right. Like half a minute. And I'm gonna lop off one of his claws as a souvenir, Jason. There's trolls coming. Because I'm now the dragon slayer. Was there any treasure, by the way? I was letting the dog out. He was laying on a mound of treasure. He was laying on a pile of treasure. Did you find anything really obvious? No, we, we there's had also to... trolls coming. I know. Let's let's kill them. No, Jason, I can see through Falamir's eyes. You can. I can. Okay, well, you see what's on the map. <laughs> uh, it is how high up is that ledge? That the trolls who are running are staying off of that center aisle. Which one? Oh, like that so, slushy area? Oh. This channel through here, they are avoiding it and running along the lip. Good to know. It's probably breakable or something. And. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fly. <clears throat> so, what's my fly speed? 120? I'm pretty sure you can't move 235 feet. You can move 60 feet. So 120. About as a dash, was that 120? Oh, I was just checking distance. You know what that means, right? His What's rage that? is going to end. Yeah. You could throw a javelin or something, couldn't you? No, I wouldn't. He has to attack, or could he be moving towards a fight? He's got to attack. What if he's verbally abusive? <laughs> <laughs> Only if he was a kinder. Okay. That actually makes me want to play a kinder barbarian now. <laughs> All right. Um, how do I take my movement back? <laughs> yeah, Jason's trolling us. That's good. That's really good. What are we doing, Coven? I'm gonna move 120 feet. You can attack me once if it helps. <laughs> no, I will not attack you. <laughs> His sword might attack you. But I can it take it, Coven. I can take it. And that will end my rage. <laughs> yep. Rage over. Which also ends your frenzy. Correct. And that doesn't that leave me with the level of exhaustion? Yep. yep. Oh, it has to be a hostile creature. So you have to attack him first. All right, cool. Oh, 16 feet for him. Because that's inventive. I would almost let that do something. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll be back. Okay, Lucas. I'm just gonna tell you guys, if he gets back to his turn, he's throwing a fucking sword. Just there you go. Who's throwing a sword? Oh, Jason. Or, well, you remember I did that. Right? We were fighting the editor cut, and I was on attack, and I was out of range, and I threw a spear, and it missed. So I got pissed and threw my fucking great sword at it. I don't remember. It. Hey, Jason, I, uh, were you okay? Movement. Oh, sorry. You're good. Like approved. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I'm switching it up. I want Dex as the uh, disadvantage. Okay. That's for you, baby. For me? Yes, yeah, for you. Why? Fireball is Dex. Do? Do? <laughs> nice. First blast. That's gonna miss. That is definitely. Miss. Well, at least they're easy to hit. Here's a hit. Four. 
Eight. <laughs> At least you hit. Better than another miss. Okay, so was I able to retrieve my 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 uh, weapon? Are you pushing? Me what? I'm asking John John if he's pushing. Pushing oh. what? No, I'm not pushing. Okay. Unless you want to group him up more. I can't with the angle. I would push him into the wall or whatever. We know they would. They did say they were missing. The, they were avoiding the area in the middle deliberately. Yeah, the area in between us, not the area on the far that's side. A oh, so you could. I got you. I got you. Yeah, that's um, a wall, right? Yes. This is a wall, Jason. Each yeah, it's ten feet. Each one of those is about a ten foot difference in elevation. So uh, no, actually, Jason, I will push him back. Can I push him back, straight back? And yeah, you can roll. push him into that wall. That's where he'll stop. I can't push him on the other or the other direction. No, it's ten feet up. The lighter color is higher. No, I know, I know, but like I want to push him more this direction. Oh no, the other patrol's in his way. He can't occupy the whole square. Oh well, then I don't want to push him at all. Okay. So, I'm not moving his ass. He's in that general location. Yeah. Can I um? Was I able to retrieve my my uh, flail, or do you go pick it up? You didn't drop it. You ended up jamming the. You jammed oh, your sword right, through his right. wing, right. and then okay. you hooked your armored. Oh, that's right. Okay. So I didn't round. Round. You're still holding your weapon. So I'm, I'm flying toward as fast as possible. Okay, 120 feet. <laughs> yep. yep. Hang on. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Oh, I have COVID target still. There. there. And um, that's my move then, right? Yeah. Jaeger. <laughs> Does Jaeger even need to move? No. <laughs> He's not even in long range. I don't think the map's right. Nice. So that that looked Anything right, didn't it? Six hundred feet is short range for him. So yeah, Jason. Because the dragon was so easy, that means the real dragon come out now. No, you guys actually just <laughs> fucking destroyed it. Oh, no, I was making a joke because I've heard Dev Demon's doing that. All right, so All right, that, so that didn't, didn't work again. Yeah. What didn't what work? Uh, did you push uh, shift and now? drop it on him? I'm... Did you just not have it targeted? No, you have it targeted. Here. Um, token. <gasps> oh, what? no. Hmm. What Jason messed up on? He cleared all the tokens. I oh. did. I cleared all the fucking tokens. They're still in the combat tracker. You can drag and drop. I know. The um, damage one's at the front. It was, like right, it was like right about there. Roughly there and there, I guess. More there. Brian, you were here, right? Uh, I was up left one more. I was there. The trolls are smaller, though. Weren't they? Maybe not. What? I moved myself. No, I didn't. There. Yeah, there is an echo. No, okay. no, not in the channel. I was echoing Fireball. No, I was no. echo too. I got you. It was Joe John, but he fixed it. Yep. Thank you. Remember when he talks next time, just nod. <laughs> talking to me? <laughs> Are you from the east? The west? You know, the best part about that was I actually didn't say anything. I just pantomimed like I was talking, even though my mic was off. <laughs> nice. Okay, Josh, try it. Because I'm showing you got the damage effect on. All right, so should I roll damage? I just roll a d6 for it then. Okay, well, just try it because I looked at how much the jerk troll's taken. I just want to see if it works. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Um, so, anyways, that troll was at 18 and took four more. Actually, that worked out perfect. It had You did 10 last time, and that was 14, so worked out the same. Nice. All right. Second shot. 
Yeah. So we still have a dragon arrow left too now. What about we, were we able to retrieve the dragon arrow? From that last no, dragon? It's been. Okay. I wasn't sure it was like a multi use thing or a one time use. Brian, you're up. Yeah. Okay. Wait, where? <laughs> I'm like all sorts of weird places. Jason, I should be up and left one more. That's okay. it. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. Need 25 more. There. Okay. What's your range, anyway? 150. Oh, right there. Yeah, that should get all of them if you're doing what I think you're doing. Well, it's fireball. 20 foot radius. And you have advantage too, don't you? Something like that? Yeah, you can catch every one of them in the blast. Yeah. Actually, no. I don't know about that back one. You can catch the front four in the blast. Yeah. How do you do the circle? Alt? Control. Control, okay. Uh, so that one, that one, that one, and that one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Fireball in the air. Get them. They three failed their save. One passed it. Troll seven passed his save. Troll seven. You go. Oh. Can't you replace his roll or something or no? Or you got really good rolls, though, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. All of them took that a ton bad. of damage and had their regen disabled. <laughs> so all of them took 24, except Troll 7 took 12. Oh, shit, that was a movement. Yeah, you'll just have to kill that movement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... The uh, trolls all turn around and haul ass the other direction. <laughs> they're all like, Whoa! And turn around and just bolt. Um, they're running flat out. I'll make it easy. Are you guys pursuing them? We can overtake um, them. Uh, uh, there's a whole cavern to explore. What the hell? I accidentally approved your move, so. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> they turn and haul ass. They're running. I feel Some like I'm back. Oh. Wow. I kind of feel like a badass. Like, I, like they don't matter. Shit. <laughs> oh, Coven would pursue. Oh, damn right he would. You're not raging right now. You actually don't have to. No, and your sword's a, already got a boner from killing a dragon, so. <laughs> uh, no, there's a whole cavern here to explore, honestly. I All mean. right. Let's get over here. Plus, don't you have a level of exhaustion or something? Oh, wait. I did forget about that. Like, how... You're zonked. I, I mean, you're tired. I forgot uh, how exhaustion affects movement. Uh, it's You're not affecting movement yet. You just have a penalty to any physical... A disadvantage... On any physical checks you're making. Gotcha. So, like, yeah, the trolls are actually out of sight. Damn. They've gone, they ran far enough that even flying full speed, it's just fog. So, you get that far. That's as far as you can see, and you do not see trolls. Oh, well, then I'm done with that. Okay. Um,. You can hear them scrabbling across the ice off in the distance and getting farther away. They do not appear like they are rallying. They they appear to be in full flight. All right, well, we've got a pile to go through. Yes, yeah, I said. the wizard lady, she seems to have control over the trolls. <sighs> Remember what they were saying? Plus, they probably called a dead dragon. And no, just, you know. she actually said to stay away from the trolls because they're crazy and will kill you. Yeah, but they're, I think they're scared of her or something. So as long as they're with her, we should be safe. 
<laughs> I've got a dragon to skin. Yeah. Yeah, there's a whole okay. pile of loot here to go through. Who's going to do the rolling? I want you guys to elect a treasure roller. Uh, I, honestly, Brim laid the killing blow. But Thanks. plus, Nick cares more about treasure than everyone else. Let's be honest. Plus, <laughs> I, I did. I did honestly think I was going to die there. I thought. I thought I'd kill him, but I thought I would die in the process. Nick, I just don't roll like shit. Yeah. If you roll like shit, we're going to throw things. How do out. I roll? Uh, I Jason, need you to roll a percent. How do I do that? Right click the D10, click on the percent, and yeah, then. I, and I do the, okay, I got it. I do know what the D10 is. And then just throw it, right? Yeah. Ruthless. Yep. Ruthless. 86 is not you bad. You can keep rolling. Yeah. Okay. No, if you no lower, though. No. no lower. I didn't roll that one. That's fun. <laughs> First off, give me 2D4. 2D4. Tutti fruity. Average. Okay, four. Five is average. Well, 4.5, but yeah. Okay, you find a total of between coins and gems about 2,000 gold pieces worth of coins and gems. Mostly gems. So, all right. Um, now, clean up the party. 1d4. 1d4? Yeah, and then you guys get to the part you're excited about. So. Ugh. Oh. All right. We need a new D4 roller. <laughs> no more. <laughs> All right. I can be off percent there. One yeah, more JJ. time. Yeah. This could be really awesome or really shit. So just FYI. It better be good. Damn. Actually, I think everything on this table is awesome. Hey, did you say yes on that inspiration? Oh. oh. You got a five? Are you fucking <laughs> kidding? <laughs> That's not bad. No. Here's no. a roll of house five in the bed. Fucking enjoy. <laughs> I just okay. wanted to know. go ahead. This it's a table of awesome. So okay. it's just which awesome do you get? The least um, amount. <laughs> all right. The last thing I need you to do is roll a d6. Roll a d6. There we go. Yeah, yeah. That's quantity, right? Okay. Five no, candles. Absolutely. You get five candles and the whole horde. That was not quantity. So what was it? I gotta pick which one you're gonna get now. Um you find a weapon. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> How cursed is it? Maybe it's like this the uh, antique curse weapon, whatever it is, like they're gonna power up against each other. Equipment. What it is is not as good if it's as it's a purple wand, wand. I call it. I think it should be a sword. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I like a rod. You do like a rod. I like a rod. You know I like a rod. Yeah. rod. A big stiff rod. Wow. <laughs> Maybe a bow for the sword. DPS guy? Sword of dragon slaying? He already has a magic bow. Oh. I, I think it should be a, a sword of dragon oh, slaying. Well, you guys know, the last roll was for who it's a weapon for. Ah. Oh. If you guys count. It's for himself. It's yep. Brim. <laughs> nice. Nick, I think I think it should be a sword so, of dragon slaying. If you found a weapon, what uh -huh. kind of weapon would you really want to find? Mm, probably a long sword. Okay. Plus three longsword. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Owner time. <laughs> I will go ahead and modify your sheet. Hmm? Inventory. That is awesome. It is awesome. <laughs> See, guys, I think I rolled perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a plus three longsword. And not of dragon slang. Martial weapon. Long sword, I guess. It's really weird how that fucking goes. It's weapon. There it is. Weapon. Martial. Bonus is three. Damage is one D eight. 
property. Versatile. It's one D eight slashing. Okay, drop that. And actions. <laughs> So what's going to happen to the other longsword? Oh, I don't know. I want to name it uh, plus one dragon slaying or Worm's Bane. I don't know. Worm's Bane. Yeah, call it Worm's Bane. Okay. So sell it for a markup. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I hadn't thought of that hard at far ahead. All right. I've changed your sheet to just show plus three longsword now. That's fine. I'm not going to use it. It does. Well, we could use it for barter. Yeah, or somebody else wants to use it. I don't know. It does 1d8 plus 3 now, or 1d8 plus 7 total. That's nice. So, I'm not going to have Jaeger hold it if you want to just in case. Do you want to hold the longsword just in case, Jaeger? I've got a rapier. Okay. I use finesse anyways. Gotcha. Appreciate okay. it. Makes sense. Dragon's dead as fuck. <laughs> um, like I said, you find about 2,000 gold pieces value of treasure mostly art objects and some coins. There's really not that many coins here. Um, but as McCath told you, this is like a secondary layer for the dragon. Um, Jaeger, I'm going to need a nature check. Can I get... With advantage, uh, because you really hate dragons. Alright. Can I give advantage as I have nature as well? You already have nope. Advantage. You've never skinned a dragon. I want to glue All a right. dragon claw to the pommel of the sword. Jaeger, apparently from hearing about people skinning whales at some point, actually does a really good job and gets the dragon's skin mostly intact. Nice. Um, That's a really big skin. Actually, he's actually kind of directing you guys. Like, okay, all right, now bring that flank over. So um, you're about halfway through skinning it when you hear a blood-curdling skin screams like a chorus of just outraged screams and you look over to see a dozen kobolds like a combination of weeping and rage charging you screaming about how you've slain the god mm -hmm. i'm gonna yell at them i am the god now bow before oh, me god. <laughs> Okay. I'll just yell out for new God. <laughs> Go for initiative. Okay. Bring it. And I want to attach some uh, dragon claws and teeth to these my, my old weapon and my new weapon, if that's okay. Not for stats or anything, just for appearance. How come we roll great for initiative against a little bitch kobold? <laughs> it's like, ooh, kobold slay time. I'm going first. Look at this. He rolled a. I'm a god tonight. What can I say? <laughs> I really am. You know, it's I killed the god. I am the god. I'm not yeah. sure that that's how dragon society works. It does now. <laughs> Keep what you kill. Town. Exactly. Who the fuck is this? I'm oh. like a less cool Vin Diesel. Come on. Who's also fatter. You might be taller. Yeah, probably. I'm 6'3". Cobalt. Here we go. Twelve. Add. Is Vin Diesel short? I have yeah. no idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's like five eight. I know he plays D and D. Holy crap! I know he's Who's awesome. D &D? I love it. So, Riddick let's see, kind of drag all your asses over here. Come in here so I can see your characters. Oops. There, share. Okay, and show all. There you go. There's a shitload of kobolds. They awesome. are all far away right now. Awesome. I'm not putting them all on the map. Oh. Damn, it's your turn. All the kobolds are far, far away. Which, where? Which, I don't know which way. Uh, east, coming the same way the trolls were coming. Okay. Can I still fly or no? It was 10 minutes. Mm, were it 10 minutes? Sorry, I don't know. No, we yeah, were halfway no, through. more than 10 minutes of skinning a dragon. Okay. Yeah. Um... Is there a way up onto this ledge here that looks safe? Like, uh, yeah. No, you can get your crampons on. You'd need to make an athletics check. But it's too far away uh, right now, right? Although it's also a long fucking way away. Yeah. Um, the kobolds are, I'd say, 120 feet away right now. Can't I reach out my javelin? Just I mean, wait here uh, for him. 
Yeah, they're coming. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw a jab on that, the, at the closest one. I think your range is 2060 on that. Oh, it's not – it's not a – damn it. You wouldn't really get close for. enough to throw no, a jab. <laughs> well, I'm going to borrow borrow Jaeger's bow. <laughs> like, I got this. <laughs> then I'm just going to step forward or whatever, Um, you know, somewhere in between us. Where the hell have I got there? In? It's like uh, somewhere like right around here somewhere. Okay. And just uh, you move me. up and just put up a defensive position then. Okay. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to hold my hands up and say, you know, I've slayed your God. I am your God. Bow down before me and I'll spare your lives. Whatever. Nice. Know. Okay. Yeah. Give me uh, give me an intimidation check. And wow. They, they actually like, wait, do you speak draconic? I do. Okay. Um, they kind of skid to a stop and can look and realize you guys are skinning their god. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of look at each other like I don't I don't know. And they finally one of them bows down. <laughs> says, Command us. Uh-huh. Carry the treasure to the boat. <laughs> okay. Um they start to gather up the treasure. Yeah, and when that boat's full, fill the trophy bolt boat. <laughs> Dude, we should have had them go in one at a time to get the treasure out of the trophy room. <laughs> no, we can melt a hole out to get the treasure boat out. Let's melt a hole through the ice and just launch it into the water. We have two boats with all the treasure. Uh, if you remember, you were pretty sure the trophy boat, after being reassembled, is not seaworthy. Oh, okay. It was a sacrifice. There are a lot of planks right. that appear to have been put back in the wrong spot. Oh, okay. <laughs> then fill the boat up with the most valuable treasures. And I'm just going to wave dismissively. And that's my turn. Uh, they, they leave. Uh, about that time, um, McCath actually floats down and touches down on top of the spot <coughs> where you guys came down. Uh -huh. And it's just like, I, he's dead. <laughs> she can't yeah. believe it. It was easy. <laughs> um, she's ready to go she insists that we have to take back all the artifacts in the scriptorum and oh, return them to the, to the host tower of the arcane oh yeah we're definitely taking the artifacts those aren't getting left behind that's valuable and one of the ice toads is a lore keeper and if we could convince him to come along his knowledge of, Arath, of the, the white dragon society is unparalleled Oh. He would be invaluable. We should do that. We should okay. also take back our uh, Authorator's head. Oh, absolutely. And I want to take some of his horns. I'm, I, I want to basically cover myself in dragon. I'm not sure you understand, Will. <clears throat> it's part of the skin. I mean, Jaeger knocks skinning the oh. dragon out of his heart. Okay, got it. Well, okay, well, this is a fair skin <laughs> rotten, so it's a dragon I'll, skin. So I want, it's a dragon can I, skin tart. Can I take the teeth and stuff? I want, I want to make like, you know, some memorabilia on myself, you know, the dragon parts. Sure. You take you take one of the horns out of the wing that you were stuck okay, to. Okay, that works. Hanging on to your dear life. Yeah. Maybe make a dragon bone pommel for my sword. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe. Pretty okay. sure you were a mercenary captain, not a not a craftsman. Yeah, whatever. Sure. Sure. Hey, someone can help you out with that. Yeah, whatever. I'm a god now. I'll, I'm, I'm a pee on Oh, there. God. <laughs> I got okay, minions. Okay, um... Hey, while you guys are doing that, I'll go try to convince the Ice Toad to go with us. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'm going to go help uh, Brian. I'll leave when you minions. meet the Ice Toads, they speak in a really guttural language, uh, a, a really guttural common that sounds like almost like croaking. Um, they seem really impassive. Like, they don't really seem to give two shits about whether or not the dragon was alive or dead. Like, they don't appear to have any side in this. They're just knowledge seekers. And um, uh, well, what the fuck was that one called? Let me find it here. The lore master, or something. You said. Yeah, it was a little more complicated than that. I'm trying to find. No, not that one. Conclusion. Here we go. Um. The hell. The hell, bro. Marfulb. 
Marfold has been studying Arathator for four decades. Good lord. And uh, is willing to come to the host tower of the Arcane that's being rebuilt by the Arcane Brotherhood um, as long as uh, he can stay with his material. He has bookshelves and bookshelves of stuff. Oh, God. That yeah, one. we'll help move it. Yep, sure will. We we have muscle. That's why we yeah. brought Brim. No, we got the, we got the kobolds to help. Once we have the treasure. Um, <clears throat> so around then, some of the kobolds actually do come back to... Um, one of them asks, what he's supposed to call you? Master. What, what title do you prefer, my lord? Master, just master. Oh, master. Um, <laughs> the the people, the tribes folk up above, the ice hunters want to talk to you. They're okay. they're all cheering and screaming, and they, they want to talk to you all. Okay. I guess we'll go up. What uh, do you want us to do? I was say, is there anything else in this cavern we want? I mean, I'm looking at a whole section over there. Is there like, Lord. So, were we able to take all the treasures? There's a bunch, like, a bunch of treasure left. Um, the hey, there were three treasure rooms upstairs. The kobolds told you that the treasure on that boat is fake and it's a trap. Okay. Um, and the other ones, they're trophies. They're not treasures, they're trophies. They're yeah. like... Frost Giant. But I mean, did they, get, did they get all the treasure out of that last room? <laughs> or did not all fill yeah, the boat right there? Still so cobbled there digging it out. So it's, it's all gone, though. Like, there's nothing left over? They're, they're digging it out of the house right now. Okay. You told them to take it all up to the boat. Uh, ask the kobolds what was in the rest of that basement that we didn't explore. The ice troll. The ice trolls and the ice toads are there. The trolls have left. They fled the okay. company. It looks like they all went up to the surface and jumped overboard. And, I mean, jumped off the side. And they all, they all can all swim under the water. Are these regular are really kobolds? Good. They're like these ice kobolds. Are, they're kobolds. They're, they're very, very pale skin. Like hey, okay. can you mute? Thank so you. They, they belong in the cold, then. They seem to be comfortable. Yeah. Okay. Who's that? I don't know. Um, Not me. It's not here, too. As you head up the spiral staircase, you need to get JJ still. What? I booted you, Coxmac. Hold on. No, I can't stop hearing that. now. <laughs> I muted you. That's how I knew it was you. How was could it, it be me, me when, my, when I was muted? I don't know. I had my mic on, you tard. <laughs> was, it, was it me? No. No, it was know. JJ. As soon as I muted oh. JJ. It doesn't matter. Let's just, let's just move on. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I thought Will was going to get him a headset. All right. I, I, really I know where you live now. I will bring you a headset. So, um, okay. The um, want to do what to do next? Do what? The couples want to do, know what to do next? Uh, well, they're getting the treasure right now. Yeah. Um, as you guys get to the surface, there's like a just parade of all the people are screaming and celebrating. The dragon's dead. Like they, they said they knew when the trolls came running out on fire and jumped off the side of the... I mean, some of them jumped 200 feet, bounced off the rocks on the way down. Like, <laughs> they can show you off the side. There's like some that didn't make it. They, they impaled themselves down at the bottom. Um, the... Uh, Josh. They're already starting to pack their stuff. Like, you see them already starting to pack their tents and stuff up. Nice. To get the hell out of here. So, they've... Apparently been prisoners of Arathator for decades. Um, the women are throwing themselves at you. Um, they insist that you stay tonight for a feast, and they promise none of the fish will be poisoned. And um, the crew of the ship, they feel bad because they've been so hostile to the Frost Skimmer, but he is a friend of the Ice Hunter people. Uh, he wants them, they want them to come up. They want to have one big feast especially for the food they can't bring with them. Nice. They're going to just cook it all right now and have a like a giant barbecue. Hey, can I tell the kobolds just to go forth, spread the religion of Brim, tell people what they've seen here, and that the dragons are all going to die and to convert or, or perish? I want the kobolds okay. to go out, you know, make statues of me, spread my religion. Make statues of me. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. Um, the kobold you've been talking to is named Crypto. Okay. K R I K apostrophe T O. Yeah. And Crypto explains to you. He actually seems a little scared, and he says, "I, I can't, I can't do that, Master. Why not?" You notice then that he's actually got a lot of blood on him, like a lot. What's the blood from? Uh, the others, they they said that it was blasphemy and that you were a heretic. Um, I slit all their throats. I like you. But I am dedicated to you, Master. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, he has a minion. I do. Just okay. order me. Uh, come with us. You can be my, you can be my, you know, valet or whatever. Oh, thank you, Master. He's groveling at <laughs> your feet and hanging on to your boots. We'll find a place for him in the new order. <laughs> <laughs> My high priest. <laughs> okay. I'm not taking him out for walks. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll jump off the tower or whatever. <laughs> Put him in a okay. cage at night. Yeah. <laughs> um, Crape train him. Anything else you want to do? I mean, if we're just leaving all that yeah. goodness down there, I'm just no. Not... The, the kobolds took it out for us. It's in the boat. Oh yeah, they transported to the boat. Uh, Captain Half Face or whatever his name is. Captain Half Face. Yeah. He he tells you he's like, um, Captain Larue. Kind of weird. The kobolds started flagging us down. <laughs> we came closer and realized they were, they had treasure to put on the boat. We've we've stored everything we could. Good. Um. And the ice hunter people came down and said everything was safe. What's JJ pointing at? JJ wants to talk to the wizard. I don't want to yet. Oh. I want to get back where we're going. Well, you guys can talk to the wizard while you're there. Well, yeah, but the wizard's going back with us, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I figured we just take care of it then. I think the wizard actually already told you everything she knew about it, though. I mean... She said she could help pinpoint it. How it operates, and yeah, she might be able to help pinpoint it once she's back on the mainland. Um, you guys have gone far above and beyond anything she could possibly expect. She also <laughs> says that she will make sure um, that the Arcane Brotherhood knows what a contribution you've made to their efforts, and she will be fighting for, for their influence. Nice. Other than that, um, it's the giant stinky fish fry because all their fish is spoiled. They let it spoil before they eat it. That's just dragon awesome. barbecue. So it's oh, tangy. Oh, dragon. that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Jason. Feast, oh, on shit. Feast on the meat of my enemies. Okay. Jaeger. I don't think you've used it yet, but fucking inspiration for that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Double inspiration. Toby talks to his sword. Kel hears voices. Lucas says Falamir. Brim just got a kobold servant. Jager wow. needs a pet. <laughs> <laughs> Is John going to turn his mic back on? Um, yeah. Maybe. When I have something to say. Oh, oh okay. okay. Hey, will that one lady kind of teach me some of the secrets to read those books that are very dangerous? Persuasion. Oh, actually, I want to make this it my is a skill man. roll, right? Yeah. Jason, I want to make I it actually like to have Sorry. had this conversation before and use pretend to help me with that. <laughs> it's inventive enough that you can have advantage on the roll. I typed something on OC, Jason. Yeah. Yeah, she's willing to... She couldn't herself, but she'd be willing to sponsor you uh, as a member of the Arcane Brotherhood. You've obviously got the power. So when you guys return to the mainland, if you wish to... Uh, I don't know what they call it. If you wish to pledge to become a member of the Arcane Brotherhood, she will sponsor you. And I'll still be able to stop TMF from entering the world. That'd probably be your first assignment, really. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. good with that. And they could definitely get you access to a lot of things, resources you probably don't have right now. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. 
Okay. So we'll wrap up that you guys uh, finish the giant white dragon barbecue and then um, pack up the rest of your goods and belongings on Frost Skimmer and he takes you back to Waterdeep with all speed. Nice. Um, they have to set aside a special room to put the head and skin of Arathator. And um, it'll be probably like a week or two to get back. You guys actually have some downtime to rest and relax. Nice. So we can all be full health. Oh, yeah. Everybody be recovered. I'm hoping to make some uh, armor out of that skin. That would be awesome. Right. Especially now that you may have the resources of some uh, very powerful organizations to do it. Oh, did right. he ding? Um, the last disturbing sight you see as you're heading down to the boats is a group of 11 kobolds <laughs> that have just been slaughtered. That's awesome. I mean, <laughs> throats slit, spears run through each other, heads chopped <laughs> off, disemboweled. <laughs> or whatever. So it's, a, yeah. it's a crusade, a holy war. Crypto. Crypto. Crypto annihilated the rest of the his kobold brethren. He is the best of the kobolds. Yep. Yeah. Hey, they were having tryouts for Brim's religion. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he actually, uh, he actually claims that uh, he was he was empowered by the hand of Brim. So. Nice. <laughs> I'm good with that. I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and in Draconic, right. that's the title he takes on Hand of Brim. That works. Translating right now, what is Hand of Brim in Draconic? Oh, God. I, I actually have the translator saved here. Well, Give you just need Hand of. That's true, Hand of. Because Brim's the name. Yeah. So, is Draconic translator? So, there's extra material. I wouldn't mind a there helmet. Is. Holy shit, there is. You know that, Jason? Common there's Draconic. If there's extra material, I wouldn't mind a helmet. I mean, it doesn't have to do anything, just for looks are all I care. But if there's extra material, I would like a dragon skin helm. Oh, sweet. Did you not know about this? No. Where'd you post it? Chassis. Oh, my God, dude. Chassis de brim. Chassis de brim. <laughs> Chassis de brim. That's your name. Holy <laughs> shit. That's the kobold's that name. Badass. He is no longer crypto. He is Chassis de Brim. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's epic. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're going to stop there. Okay. Alrighty. We still got nine Beautiful. minutes. Beautiful. <laughs> we, we didn't so, love it. You want to do the armor real quick because we have nine minutes or no? No. Uh, you okay. got to you gotta get back to town, find like artisans and leather workers gotcha. and scale workers. Like there's a... A process. <laughs> Brim, a god with one follower. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> well, you gotta start somewhere. Minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I like clockworks. They all it's fell on their sword god. rather than convert. <laughs> if he works really hard, one day he may achieve demigod. <laughs> you know what? I may uh, kill the dragon queen or whatever and take her place. <laughs> it's the power corrupts. We don't. We don't know how this campaign ends. I do. Yeah, that, well, that's <laughs> it. Was the same as yesterday for Balkel. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Coven and I uh, find an epic battle to see which one was ascends to godhood in the end. <laughs> the shitty thing is, as soon as we finish this, I wake up and start over again. <laughs> <laughs> Just like it's last exhausting. Time. It's like we'll do it. Well, it's like we'll do it differently this time. Uh, we, we do it differently just, every time. Uh, now I see Balkel going fine. I'll go to the Well of Dragons again, and I'll fight Tiamat again. <laughs> yeah, but this time I'm a member of the Arcane Brotherhood. Right. Th this time you can leave notes I mean, for yourself. That doesn't always happen. Maybe if you leave notes for yourself for next time, you'll do better. Well, I mean, time. Do you not understand how time works? They I won't be there. Coven so, has no idea how time works. Jaeger. <laughs> Yo. 